What are you hearing on how Cam will fit into that Patriots locker room? Well, Queenie, I would say veteran leaders are excited to welcome him, and really how he's going to fit in is really up to him. What I've learned covering this team is every player gets a blank slate. And when we ask this question about Corey Dillon, Randy Moss, Chad Ochocinco, Darrell Revis, really, they come into the locker room and they get sort of the open arms treatment. It's an all-business environment. And Cam Newton put something out on his YouTube channel last night that shows he might already understand that. He had a message. He said, let's get to work. And one other thing was brought up to me by someone in the organization. They said in the best case scenario, he can become that alpha presence that they miss when they lose Rob Gronkowski two years ago or they lose Tom Brady this year. They sort of don't have that alpha guy and they think in the best case scenario, Cam could be that alpha presence that people can follow on game day. Now he certainly was the leader there in Carolina. We remember the way all the teams seemed to follow around his personality that year. They were so good. They were sort of a fun-loving group and, and all of that. So, so that's the off-the-field part, if you will. On the field, Cam is obviously a completely different quarterback than Tom Brady stylistically. How do you see the Patriots working their offense around him? Well, one thing they won't do, Greeny, is tear their offense down and build it back up. They're going to keep the foundation, and that foundation, just to pick a number, is going to be about 75%. That's going to stay the same. But what they do is they adapt their offense to the strengths of their personnel. So take that other 25% and use this as an example. Go back to 2016 when they had to turn to Jacoby Brissett in the third game of that season. He's a player with more movement skills than Tom Brady, and I would say Cam Newton has movement skills similar to that. So they introduce some new concepts to the offense to suit Jacoby Brissett. He's running for a touchdown, and those type of things are how the offense might look a little bit different. The foundation won't change, but they'll introduce some different concepts like we saw with Jacoby Brissett. That's an interesting uh, way of looking at it. Just sort of 25, so just a little bit on the margins, if you will. That might be less than I think most people would expect. Mike, thank you, my friend. We'll see you again soon. Let me get Orlovsky back in here. So I want to talk about this a little more, and Booger with us as well here. But, but, but I know, Dan, that you've put together a little bit of a tape because you know, the RPO, the run-pass option, is something that we talk about so much in the NFL right now. And I think most of us are anticipating that that's part of what New England's offense will look like. So as we put the tape together, what are you seeing here and what have you seen from Cam? Well, Greeny, a big conversation around the Patriots is they still lack weapons at the skill position. And so when you're a defense that knows you don't fear those skill position players, what you do is you put a safety in the middle field, you leave your corners on the outside, and that's going to allow you to have an extra person down near the football for the run game. And that's why it becomes such a difficult thing. And New England is a team that still struggles with their skill position players. But adding Cam Newton's a big deal. So Dallas knows that. They want that extra guy down near the football. Eight defenders. But Patriots are notorious for bringing guys in motion. So Carolina would do the same thing. Bring a seventh guy down in the box. You're trying to make it an even game. They've got eight as a defense. You know how seven as an offense in a run game. And you can run your traditional run plays, lead blockers and pullers. But what you do is you find a guy on your defense, the eighth defender, and you make him null and void. You single him out. You put him in conflict. Now you're seven on seven. And you just give him a simple read for the quarterback. Follow the tailback. Now you have a willing and able ball carrier at mm. the quarterback position. This is that look at New England and go, we don't really fear those receivers. Well, that's fine. You could put that extra guy down near the football. But when the addition of Cam Newton comes in New England, now Josh McDaniels can go, that's okay, guys. They have eight and we only have seven. I'll make that eighth guy our conflict guy. So when they play teams like Kansas City, it'll be Chris Jones. And when they play teams like the Rams, it'll be an Aaron Donald. That's why the addition of Cam Newton is going to help the skill position players because it's going to impact the run game so much. Booger, this isn't something they were doing in the NFL nearly as much when you were playing, but you were a defensive lineman. What, what is that like when, you have to, when you're staring at that mesh point and you have to make that decision? Well, Greeny, it's basically a play. The RPO is, is a play designed to give the offense answers. And, and the offense can't be wrong because if you play one play, I'm going to run the other. If you play the other, I'm going to run the initial play. And it, 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 it is tough to defend, but that's all predicated on the threat of the quarterback run. 
As you heard Mike Reese say, the Patriots mm -hmm. are, are going to keep 75% of their regular offense. So this could be 25, 30% of their offense. And if you're going to major in the RPO, if you're going to go in the Kansas City, in the Baltimore type world, then your quarterback has to be a threat running the football for me as a defender to pay attention to it. Otherwise, you know what I'm going to do? When you put the football at the mesh point, I'm going to take the running back. I'm going to make the quarterback carry the football. So I, I think that's why when we talk about Cam's health, it's going to be imperative for him not only to be healthy, he's got to show the rest of the NFL that he's healthy and wants to run because it's one thing to be healthy. It's another thing to put your body in harm's way, play after play. Now, if Cam will show that early in the season, now that makes it a lot tougher for a defender because now at the mesh point, I don't know who's going to keep the football. I don't know if he's giving it to the running back or the quarterback is going to keep it. So his health is paramount on what type of offensive system that Josh McDaniels implements so they can be successful. Yeah, and you're seeing there on your screen how many times Cam Newton has been hit since he came into the league in 2011, how many more than anybody else. And a lot of the time, I think we've complained, Dan, about the way he is officiated. And, and, and frequently, and I know we've had these conversations on Get Up and on my old show, on Mike and Mike, we would talk about it as well, that Cam, perhaps because he was so big and strong, was not protected by the officials sometimes the way we see other quarterbacks protected. Yeah, I mean, that's, that was the style of Cam's play. I mean, you've heard me use this phrase, Cam chose to choke on greatness rather than nibble on mediocrity. And so I, I certainly think that as Cam has been away football from, for a year because of an injury, he would have a little bit of a different mindset. You you, we, we heard Mike Reese talk about the offense is not going to be totally different. That play we drew up, Everybody in the NFL has that play. Not everybody in the NFL has the ability to have the quarterback read that person and then go get 15 yards. And to Booger's point, he's got to show the willingness to run. In 2018, right, two, two years ago, when he has having one of his better passing seasons, he was also carrying the ball about 10 times a game. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.